Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. G'day, I'm Fletch and welcome to one of the most significant Mopar events in Australia. It's the 30th Chrysler's on the Murray and you're about to see a bit of it on this week's Classic Restos on the Road. This is a jammed, packed event, crammed into three big days. This is Friday morning and it starts here at the Logic Centre, Decatrack, just outside of Wodonga, Victoria. It's an opportunity for the entrance to enjoy some timed laps and a go to woe session in a safe environment. Okay, here we are at the Decker. This is where it all begins. Cross on the Murray for 2023. How are you doing, Daniel? Nervous. Yeah. You're not half as nervous. Look, what is it with you tall blokes? I'm going to have to start bringing a milk crate with me. I don't know. It's just something in the water in Melbourne, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, uh, tremendous CL car here. CL cries a valiant. Um, Six-pack badges on the side. Just forget about that. We've got a 6.4-litre uh, retrofit Hemi shoehorned in between the inner skirts. Tell us the deal here. The idea all came about um, when I took the car off the road back in 2011. There's been a few direction changes since then, but gathered all the pieces that, that I wanted to sort of put into the car and this is what we ended up with today. Nice work with what you've done. It's not just a case of giving this beautiful CL a 6.4 Hemi. Um, it's the neatness around the engine bay. You won't be able to find a brake booster or a master cylinder. It's all nicely hidden under the dash, I presume. I made sure I wanted to get the engine bay looking as nice as I can. Yeah. Inside the car is lovely too. Uh, you've still got the beautiful high back buckets, original interior, some nice gauges there in the dash. It, it's a good looking car and it's uh, amazing isn't it how the poor old CLs and the CMs got the uh, least recognition over the years but in 2023 when you see them driving through the gate now they're such a good looking car aren't they? I think so especially with as low as it's sitting now and the body lines at the back I think I think it just and the, and the big billet, it complements it nicely. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Daniel, what's the go out back with those uh, big pair of boots you got going on there? 315.35s on 20-inch wheels. 
Um, you just had to just go all out, didn't you? Oh, uh, look, that, this is a vision I had from the car since since the start, and um, and yeah, that was only that was the only option for me, really. Well, we'll uh, let you go now. Time pretty soon to get out there on the track and um, have fun today, mate. And obviously, the Friday, the beginning of a massive three-day event for Chrysler's on the Murray for 2023. Good on you, Daniel. Thanks, Fletch. Enjoy. cool is this? A track nearby for entrance of Chrysler's on the Murray to enjoy. Around 50 cars are entered here today. It's their chance to open the barrels, push themselves a bit, enjoying the atmosphere away from the street. It's also an opportunity for drivers to learn more about their own ability and more about their cars as well in a loaded up situation. And there's plenty of twisty stuff to keep them on their toes. Guys, guys, tip, tip, looking for a tip. Always, everyone's looking for a tip. I'll give you a tip. Flannelette bed sheets, they're the go for your car. Put them on the bonnet, put them on the roof, over the back of the, the boot lid when your cars are in storage. Use them around the front of the guards, drape them over when you're working on the engine. Good for a seat cover as well. Flannelette sheets, they're the go. Best thing about the flannelette sheets too, when you finish with them, just go back and put them on the neighbour's line. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. When it comes to cars, there are some brands that will remain with us forever, no matter what. The Holden was always Australia's own car, held high in the hearts of many. Those lines, that chrome, the stories around them and the people that owned them. From the classic through to the final, you can still trust in genuine Holden and AC Delco parts, available through the Holden certified service network. Welcome back. How good was the Decker track? It's still Friday now into the afternoon and it's time now for the Great Reveal. A fairly recent upper echelon addition for Chrysler on the Murray is the Great Reveal. This typifies the quality of vehicles that are turning up here each and every year. Around a dozen newly completed vehicles line up at the Gateway Lakes ready for the Duna to be pulled back as they jump out of bed in front of many eager Chrysler fans. Revealing each Mopar related product is testament to their custodians. This is just another example of the quality and consistency found in this year's Chrysler's on the Murray for 2023.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is car number one of the big reveal. Faye and Glenn, go right ahead and reveal what you have to show us. Underneath, folks, have a go at this. A V8 wagon. Round of applause for these two. Here we go. It's one of these time capsule things, isn't it, folks? VG Pacer. Still got the original uh, wheel covers on there. 245 Piggy, original interior. What a beautiful car. Okay, okay folks, check this out. A VF. How nice is that? Look at this two-door VF coupe. Again, folks, we've got the original interior there. The dashboard looks brand new. Tomorrow when you get around, have a look. Check that out. It looks like it's just left Tomsley Park. It's an absolute incredible example of a car. Round of applause, folks. Look at this. What a beautiful VH. I love that number plate. Cranky one. It's pretty appropriate. Four-door car. Look at the leather interior. Customised in there. Absolutely beautiful. 540 cubes. Do the big reveal, folks. Look at this. Plenty of chrome up front. An American design car. The LeBaron. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Original car. 1968 Plymouth GTX, folks. Wow. Lovely car. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much for being a part of the great reveal here at Cross on the Murray for 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a very nice car. I can assure you of that. Folks, round of applause. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Have a go at the paintwork on this. It's another coupe. An absolutely outstanding VG hardtop. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Well done there to Joel and Stacey. Making the grade here for the big reveal. Ian and Jason, away we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is something that's uh, even more unique. I'm sure you'll agree. Big round of applause for this gorgeous Plymouth Cuda, 1971 convertible, original interior car. Absolutely stunning. Jeez, I tell you what, some coupes have hatched this year. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another sensational VG, VG hardtop. Have a go at this, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, the year is 1934. It's a 1934 Chrysler, ladies and gentlemen. It's the epitome of Chryslers back in that time. Okay, guys, you can do the big reveal, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause. Have a go at this beautiful ute. Got ourselves a VJ here. This is the beauty of our cars. It's just a, an extension of our persona as to what we do with them, and we individualise each car by doing these little touches. So, well done, mate. Congratulations. The second last reveal. Apparently, is one last one to go, folks. So, here we have a 1970 Challenger sitting here in all its exuberance. Have a go at that. Look at the steel wheels and narrow tyres. How cool is that? Unbelievable. What a beautiful example of a 1970 RT Challenger. Here we go, folks. Big round of applause. What's lurking under here? Ooh, we can see a couple of four barrel cars. And we've got ourselves a beautiful VG coupe. Wow. And away we go. This is early Saturday morning and this is what the entrants are waiting for. Around 900 Chryslers are lined up to enter Gateway Lakes, proving to be possibly one of the largest Chryslers on the Murray to date. Every year at Chrysler on the Murray, there is the top 10 judging. Cars are lining up now for that. We've got this guy here. How are you doing, Glenn? Yeah, good, good flesh. Very good. That's good, mate. Lining up for the top 10. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit nervous, a bit nervous. Never done it before, first show, so. Is it the first time for Chrysler on the Murray for you? No, I've been up here a couple of years beforehand, so yeah. First time with this car? First time with this car. It's the first show for it, just finished. Okay, very special, and what a special car indeed. 1971 VH Wagon, have a go at this. Well, we know it's black. It's absolutely fantastic. The interior is absolutely beautiful. Uh, you've got the uh, fish scale dash there just to give it some enhancement on the inside, but I know it goes a lot deeper. Tell us, Glenn, the work that you've done to this car. Well, it's a four and a half year build. We bought it, had, um, it's full of rust, so it was full nut and bolt resto. Uh, we dropped the 360 in it, 727 trans, yep. uh, stock Chrysler by Chrysler diff, yep. and custom interior, Chrysler by Chrysler seats. Yep. Um, just list, list is endless. 
the car is just absolutely outstanding. You were also at the big reveal last night as well. So this car, certainly uh, for its first time to cross on the Murray, um, it's playing a big part so far. It is, it is. Uh, yes, excited to be here. It's great. Yeah, good on you. All right, Glenn, thank you very much for uh, being a part of Cros on the Murray for 2023. I wish you well on the top ten judging. They do a fantastic job, the judges here at Cros on the Murray, as they do in all the other big events as well. And I wish you all the very best with it, Glenn. No worries. Thanks a lot, Fletch. No worries, mate. Time for a lovely story on today's show. How are you, Wendy? Oh, good, thanks, Fletch. How are you? Oh, good. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Oh, it's going to be a great day. Yeah. Beautiful. See everyone out in their shiny cars. The Aubrey Wodonga Chrysler Club. Don't they do an absolute fantastic job here, Cros on the Murray, every year? Yep. 2023, possibly the biggest year yet. Oh, it's fantastic. So many cars. I just Last time we were here, there wasn't that many. So, yeah, I think there's over 800 today. So, great. Now, we have a very special car behind us. It's a 1959 AP2 Chrysler Royal. Now, Wendy, this belonged to your grandfather. Tell us the story. Yes, my grandfather bought it brand new from Adelaide over at the factory, drove over. Oh, I don't know whether he drove or flew over, but anyway, he went to get it brand new, drove it home, and he drove it fairly hard for a long time, chased the sheep around the paddock, and uh, when he was finished, he parked it in the garage, and it was handed down to my father, and he handed it down to me. Apparently the uh, rounding up of the sheep on the property, uh, your husband Lee over there uh, told me too, it was a bit of a, a rough property, a very rocky property. So the poor old girl, no wonder it ended up looking like the photos, Wendy. Yes, yes, it was in pretty poor condition. It was in a, at, at our truck depot and they used to just throw things on top of it, unfortunately. So yeah, it was there for a long time until I talked Dad into letting me have it. Now what's the colour of it, Wendy? Bermuda blue. Wow, this is a beautiful car, Bermuda blue, power steering. Uh, in the centre of the steering wheel, gorgeous interior, love the basket on the back seat, just going, winding the clock back to how yes. things used to look. Yeah. Um, also, uh, you've got your son here as well, on the bucket, on the chamois there, <laughs> doing the polishing. I mean, everyone talk pitching. about, yeah, the family's all in, right? Yes. Yeah, no, everyone pitches in, so it's it's been a great journey and we're really, we've only had it on the road a little time, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately Dad died before we could get it finished, but I'm sure he's looking down and having a yeah. smile. I'm sure he is. Now, on that note, um, how long has the car been on the road? Only a couple of weeks or a week. I can't remember. But ready yeah, for been... ready for Cros on the Murray. Yes, exactly. It's just been go 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 to get ready for Cros on the Murray. What an incredibly special car to think that it's, uh, grandfather's car, then the father's car. Now you guys have got it. I, I just think that that's marvellous. The photos there on the display board uh, say it all. Um, there's the timeline, the condition of the vehicle when you got it, um, and the, the tireless work that you've put into it now. Tell us what you love about this Chrysler Royal. I like the strap that goes across the back. Because <laughs> I've got memories of, my brothers have got memories of hanging on to this strap. Wendy, it's absolute credit to you and, and your family there, your, your husband and your son, uh, to preserve this car. Talk about family history. I, I just think that's wonderful. Yeah. Good on yeah, you, Wendy. Got a good story, so yeah. thank you. Thanks, Fletch. That's, that's OK. You're welcome. And enjoy the rest of Cross on the Murray for 2023. We certainly will. Thank you. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And of course, if you own a classic, it goes without saying, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat on 134646. And the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information, visit shannons.com.au. And moving along as we do. Hello, Rodney. How are you, Fletch? Great, mate. You? Perfect. Good killer day for it. It is. How cool are you? Two of these cars 
in automotive history were made, and you've got one of them. Yes, yes, this one's um, it's a factory FE5 car, so red, rally red, uh, black interior, black roof. Predominantly, all red cars were white interior, white roofs. Uh, what made this one unique with the one or two is the console delete option. What an incredible machine. Here we have a 1970 Challenger, pistol grip, 383, convertible car. Um, matching numbers? Four it is car. a matching numbers? It yeah. is a matching numbers, yeah. four-speed car, yep. Uh, we, we've put a TKX five-speed in it, mm -hmm. just for a little bit more drivability, yeah. but yeah, yeah. still and got the original gearbox. And you know, I love that. I think that's great. There's nothing wrong with having that overdrive cog out on the freeway just to bring your RPM back a bit. You've got best of both worlds. You've still got your, your first off the line overdrive there wonderful modification that one Rodney the condition of the car overall the interior original interior going on there just sensational it's all the original door skin so all the plastic is the original um, obviously reproduction seat covers and carpet dash is all standard all, all original dash yep. I've got to ask you how many times have you seen the movie vanishing point the first one not the second one I've seen it a few times when I was younger um, and when I was older but um, yeah Although 440 car doesn't matter, they actually used, they did actually have a 383 car on set back in the first vanishing point. Right. Just a little bit of trivia for you. That is a bit of trivia, yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I also, Rodney, love what you've done with the steel wheels. How cool is this guy? We have four steel wheels, two pack paint matching the colour of the car. I love the dog dish hubcaps in centre. And depending what mood you're in, you could flick them off for a week and just have a room if that's what you wanted, put the hubcap back on. I just love the look of that. Yep. Yeah, um, when we got the car, it was part of the conditions of we keep it absolutely dead standard, yeah. and yeah. we did that. Rodney, this is absolutely brilliant. Thank you for bringing it along to Cros on the Murray for 2023. What a car. I'm sure you'll agree. 1970 Challenger, mate. Well done. No, thanks for having us, Fletch. It's great. You're welcome. Thanks, Rodney. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Here at Chrysler's on the Murray, there is spotlight emphasis on certain models. This year for 2023, the spotlight emphasis is on the AP5, AP6, and VC Valiants. And even today, how mighty these cars still remain. As the Australian automotive market was still finding its way with diversity in the 1960s, cars sold by Holden, Ford and Chrysler were American derivatives, or typically American-based styles in many cases. The AP5, AP6 and then the VC Valiant were Australian design cars based on the American Dart, Plymouth Valiant and laced with some unique Barracuda styling. They were available with the famous 225 cubic inch slant 6 engines. The AP5 with its 145 horsepower slant, the AP6 with the same slant 6, but the year of the 273 V8 introduction. These two engines were to carry over into the VC and later the VE. Early Sunday morning now and the entrants are rolling back into Gateway Lakes for day three of Crisis on the Murray for 2023. And of course via the corporation guiding them into position year after year with the great folk from CFA and RFS services. Okay, hands up, who loves bits and pieces when it comes to cars? It's amazing, some of the nicest Chryslers are over there in the field, yet over here, so much time can be spent looking around the swap sites. You know, the parts laying around the yards of some guys' places and stuff stored over the years can often be found here. This is some of the swap site area allocated for the bargain hunters at Chrysler's on the Murray. Literally thousands of parts can be found. It's the surprise, or perhaps the impulsive spend, or finding that special part that you may be after. Yeah, you know, I love these swap sites, especially here at Chrysler's on the Murray, where just about everything imaginable for your Valiant and Chrysler can be found, including these dash clusters. Take this for example. This one, the... What? What's going on with this one? 
Crisis on the Murray also welcomes and appreciates the affiliation with the AMC brand. There's a place of respect here at Crisis on the Murray for the AMC vehicles and their owners, each year never letting us down with some magnificent AMC cars on display. It's always a pleasure to promote the fantastic work of the Albury Wodonga Chrysler Club. This year's event at Chrysler's on the Murray for 2023 has officially broken a record of 940 cars through the gate. This episode, again, just some of the largest Mopar event in Australia, proudly Chrysler's on the Murray. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.